this is an all-in-one algebra equation. We have the x right here, and of course, we see the square root, and we have the negative one, and then we have the natural log, we have positive one, and then this to the third power, and we have two to the power, which is like an exponential equation. And of course, we also have pi. So the hard part is we will have to know what inverse operation to apply at each stage. First, we will have to get rid of this two, and to do so, we will have to do log base two on both sides. So that way, this and that can cancel. And of course, don't forget to do the same thing on the other side as well. All right, so we will have parentheses with one plus ln of negative one plus square root of x like this. And then parentheses, third power equals log base two of pi. Next, we will have to get rid of this third power. And to do that, we will have to take the cube root on both sides. This way, this and that will cancel. And we will just have 1 plus ln of negative 1 plus square root of x. And that's equal to the cube root of log base 2 of pi. Okay, next, move the 1 to the other side. So we will get ln of negative 1 plus square root of x. And that's equal to negative 1 plus the cube root of log base 2 of pi. Maybe we'll just put on, keep the parentheses. All right, get rid of the ln. What do we do? We do e to the power, so here we go, e to the power and e to this power, they will cancel and we will have negative one plus the square root of x and that's equal to e to the negative one plus the cube root of log base two of pi. All right, move the negative one to the other side, it becomes one plus. So we are looking at square root of x being equal to one plus this, which is e to the negative one plus the cube root of log base 2 of pi. Yeah. Lastly, we have to get rid of the square root. And to do that, well, first of all, you can see that the right hand side is positive because 1 is positive, and e to whatever power is positive. So for sure it's positive. So we can be sure to have an answer. Because if you have a square root of x being equal to a negative number, that equation will have no solutions. So let me just make a note on the side real quick. If today, square root of anything inside, right, x with whatever, but the right hand side is equal to a negative number, this equation has no solution. So that's why we will have to check it. But it's all positive, so it's all good, and we can just go ahead and square both sides. Aha, so that way this and that will cancel. And ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to parentheses with 1 plus e to the negative 1 plus the cube root of log base 2 of pi, parentheses, and then parentheses, and then square. Yeah, this is just a number though, right? It does not look that innocent, but it's just a number. If you guys would like, you guys can use a calculator and then try to figure out how big this number is, and leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, the approximation. All right, so hopefully you guys all like this. If you guys like this kind of equations, also leave a comment down below, let me know. I will create more for you guys. Yeah, that's it.